A ban on gender-affirming care for minors in North Carolina took effect on July 1, 2023, after Republican lawmakers overrode Democratic Governor Roy Cooper's veto of the bill. The law prohibits doctors from providing hormone therapy, puberty blockers, or gender-affirming surgeries to anyone under the age of 18. The law has been met with criticism from LGBTQ advocates, who argue that it will harm transgender youth. They say that gender-affirming care is medically necessary and can help transgender youth to live healthy and happy lives. Supporters of the law argue that it is protecting children from making irreversible decisions about their gender identity. They say that gender-affirming care is experimental and can have harmful side effects. The law is the latest in a wave of anti-transgender legislation that has been passed in recent years. Similar laws have been enacted in other states, including Alabama, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Texas, the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Psychological Association have all condemned the ban on gender-affirming care for minors. They say that the law is discriminatory and harmful to transgender youth. The law is likely to face legal challenges. Several lawsuits have already been filed against the law, and it is possible that it will be struck down by the courts. In the meantime, the law will remain in effect and will prevent transgender youth in North Carolina from accessing the care they need. Please subscribe, share your thoughts and opinions, and join the conversation. Thank you.